Following a spate of killings in Lamu County over four months ago, the National Police Service moved with speed, instituting a curfew in the region as part of a wider plan to protect members of the public. The clampdown was to stand until 20th September, but was extended until 23rd of October 2014, a decision that appears to have act low society of Kenya. LSK Chair Eric Mutua says the move by the Inspector General of Police David Kimayo has no constitutional basis. It is actually a violation of the Constitution uh, on two accounts. The curfew has an effect which is social and economical in nature. Mutua claimed that the locals whose men stay fishing have suffered economically as their trade has not dived ever since. They are struggling to put food on the table. They are struggling to take their kids to school as a result of the fact that they cannot fish at night. The LSK chair is adamant Kimayo must leave the curfew, failure to which the legal practitioner's umbrella will institute legal proceedings against him. Within 14 days, if that does not happen, the Law Society of Kenya, on behalf of the people of Lamu, as per this report, they will be able to file a suit to have this curfew declared as unconstitutional and illegal. The Law Society accused security agents deployed into the area of allegedly perpetrating extrajudicial killings. He said a fact-finding team of lawyers had unearthed several cases of human rights violations by security forces deployed to the area to crack down on a militia suspected to have been behind the spate of insecurity in the county, which claimed the lives of over 90 people. Eric Biagon reporting for Channel 1 News.